We are at the final piece of the saga, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, yo? It is freaking dope to see you guys, man. I hope y'all are doing good, staying safe, and just being as happy as you can, baby. For real. Wicked to see you guys, man. And I really hope that everybody is having a good weekend, man. Long weekend, baby. I hope you're enjoying it. And also, shout out to the new subscribers who have come from the Jordan Reaction. Man, I gotta be honest with y'all. I'm still thinking about that two days later. The shit that he was just saying, man, to me was just... It's just real. It might not be for everybody, but the way he was telling his story, man, it was freaking... It was awesome. So, it was... Thank you for suggesting it for me. It was actually... It's cool to see a different side, man. It was awesome. But, now... We have Dot Rotten going at P Money for the last time, man. The Truth Part 2. Now, usually when I've been doing these, I get super jacked off P Money and I also get super jacked off Dot Rotten. So it's the same thing here, man. We already heard P Money and I'm just, I'm pumped to hear what the hell Dot Rotten has to say, man. So with no further ado, a big shout out to you guys, man. Let's get into this. Dot Rotten, baby, The Truth Part 2. Did I do the first one? I must have. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go. Bear man shouting me to my girl, but I flew through like Aladdin. Scoop me a Jasmine. I was talking about the Saudi in the context, you know it's a great land. I am not gay, your boy Black says he knows about Jasmine. I heard it for the grapevine. I'ma give you the truth when I talk about my life. I'ma make sure the facts are displayed right. God damn, man. Out the gate to see this is what I'm talking about with Dark Rock, man. He ain't coming too crazy yet. He's just spitting. He spits a lot of very facts, man, which I find about him, which I think is fucking awesome. Heard it for the grapevine. I'ma give you the truth when I talk about my life. I'ma make sure the facts are displayed right. I was living in Hadley in a cottage next to land owned by a racist farmer. Didn't like there was a black man living in a house that his brother never sold him. It made shit harder. Moved in in February from the moment he saw us in there, he created drama. He left the rap with his head chopped off on my windowsill, so now let's debate this saga. Sometimes you have to hold shit down. I went to a lady, he was banging off the door when my girl was asleep. You didn't know this well. Months and months of harassment, I was just. Whoa, 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 whoa. I went to LA, he was banging on my door when my girlfriend was trying to sleep. Mmm. That's some dirty shit. It's like you know the dude is gone, so why are you going there now? Mm. I went to a lady, was banging off the door when my girl was asleep. You didn't know this well. Months and months of harassment. I was just trying to live and he was trying to provoke this child. Give me the steps out of my doorstep as a moment of madness. This shit that you're talking about. Why would I pull out a samurai sword for no reason? Spiritually feeling like I'm getting harassed by these two white demons. So I stop running when I'm on a microphone. Why would I pull out a samurai sword for no reason? No reason. Because people saying that he pulled the same arrest sword on a 50 year old man. Oh, for no reason, spiritually feeling like I'm getting harassed by these two white demons. So I stop running when I'm on a microphone, Samurai Joe with a sword I'm squeezing. So read that off the so cool statement. I won't fight in over a parking place. I was fighting a guy because he's racist. Give me these sons, did get sore to their faces. Hmm. Uh, that's right, because P Money said that all that, or some of that beef started over a parking space. No, no, no. Dot just said I was fighting him because the motherfucker was racist. I moved in beside him. God damn, man. Over a parking place, I was fighting a guy because he's racist. Him and his sons did get sore to their faces. Hmm. Yeah, I heard about seven and up over some young thing. Should have tweeted it back then. What a dumb thing, but you mentioned it. I gotta say something. Ah, uh, let's not talk about contracts. A man was my AR and didn't even put me on his radio show. Did you clock that? I produced the tune for Kanye on Good Man was on AR but didn't even put me on the radio show. Yeah, uh huh. But I gotta say, if he's talking about, well, he must be talking about P. Why would he put you. On his radio show. I, I don't understand that. A man was my AR and didn't even put me on his radio show. Did you clock that? I produced a tune for Kanye on good music. He snaked it on a low and blocked that. Overly waved arguing with my ex in a hotel room. I, I produced a tune for Kanye. He snaked it on the low and dropped that. Tune for Kanye on good music. He snaked it on a low and blocked that. Overly waved arguing with my ex in a hotel room. I smashed the TV and lap, not brat. And pay for the damages the next day. What I gotta say to make the scene see you mock facts. My mom taught me as a man, don't be up women that quality. I ain't got that. What did he say? I can't remember. I don't beat up women. I ain't, ain't. What the fuck? Now I'm stuttering over my damn self trying to remember because I thought P Money had mentioned that he had smashed a hotel room like on some Guns N' Roses type shit. <laughs> but Doctor saying that he fucking paid for it anyway. So where's your fucking beef at? Party with my ex in a hotel room. I smashed the TV and lap, not brat, and pay for the damages the next day. What I gotta say to make the scene see you mock facts? My mom taught me as a man, don't beat up women. That quality, I ain't got that. Can you look Heard, at yourself? Man. And 
my mom taught me not to beat up women as a quality. I ain't got that. You fucking right. Let's go. Do not fact. My mom taught me as a man don't beat up women that quality. I ain't got that. Can you look at yourself and spot that? And brother, I've been to your ends. Smoke to split, but I won't link in your friends. When I said man them duck you down, I won't talking about me. Go and listen again. When I said I planned this war, but I didn't plan this war. No, I ain't contradicting my friend. I wanted them to see you hating me so much. You do too. The ends. Oh shit. Because even I was questioning that. I'm like, dude, you said everything was planned, but that you didn't plan this. What the fuck are you talking about? You contradicted yourself. But no, he just said, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Call and answer me, goddammit. I didn't plan this war, but I didn't plan this war. No, I ain't contradicting my friend. I wanted him to see you hating me so much. You do two EPs on a disc with a pen. You yeah, said that I got run out. So much you would do two EPs. Come on, man. It ends. You said that I ain't got no friends. You said that I was snaking NE. You manipulated the truth to the end. You said that you don't beat up chicks. You lied and said you never rushed chip. Yeah, I put a samurai sword to a pro man after. You you don't beat up chicks. You also lied and said you didn't rush on Chip. Did he? I don't fucking know. I know what you guys have tell me though. Let's go. Said you don't beat up chicks. You lied and said you never rushed Chip. Yeah, I bought a samurai sword to a grown man after a year of him taking a piss. You diss my girl. What about your bitch? Her for the great. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you just said earlier. You. Oh wait, he just said. He didn't say he didn't pull it out. He said I didn't. Pull it up for no reason. Alright, I get you. I saw to a bro man after a year of him taking a piss. You diss my girl, what about your bitch? Her for the great Van Beer man hit. Said that I never shot food, you prick. Well, you know about having 800 plugs to the push back till I move this sniff. Mm. Yeah, like olives and wagon mama and ones. Talking about being a preteen. Or a preteen. Good God. Being a teenager on the push pad. About having 800 plugs to the push back till I move this sniff. Mm. Yeah, like olives and wagon mama and ones. If I was buying food for shiz, you should say something lucrative. Oh, so what you trying to air man with? Got a recording of me in your track saying that I'm moving I gotta bring that part back again. Push back till I move this sniff. Mm. Yeah, like olives and wagon mama and ones. If I was buying food for shiz, you should say something lucrative. Oh. I got elders. I was buying food for ones. You should say, oh, come on, man. I like that. I like that. Because Peep Money has always said, like, you don't, you don't have nobody in your videos. <laughs> which is true. He don't. But I kind of feel like he goes solo deep. Which to me, that's scarier than six dudes showing up. One dude. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Said that I never shot food, you prick. Well, you know about having 800 plugs to the push back till I move this sniff. Mm. Yeah, like olives and wagon mama and ones. If I was buying food for shiz, you should say something lucrative. Oh, so what you trying to air man with? Got a recording of me in your track saying that I'm moving strategic. Yeah, man, is. If you're going to be talking about things that's happened in my life, don't be flipping the truth to share, man, fibs. I don't know, Jasmine. On a compass in your directions where the queer man is. Said that bro, with your use of this class to accumulate cash, how you dare chat shit. God throws all of these things in the way, still I remain humble. I swear, man, sick. You want to link up, come do it in LA. My guns are loaded, that won't spare man's wick Calling me worse, but you're actually you're the crew With a rapist and a spray bank chick So I standing right there in man's vids so believe me Call me a waste man, but you're in a crew with a rapist What? The crew with a rapist and a spray bank chick So I standing right there in man's vids So believe me or not don't like me, see me, I'm bot. I made the decision, I will not let man disrespect me no more, so I'm really on job. But I am not fearing your squad. One man against 20, I wipe them all out. It appeared that I lost. You said yeah. Ring could beat me up. What? In a one-on-one -on -one in the ring, who get dropped? In a one-on-one -on -one in the ring, you get boxed. If you try and come with a ting, you get shot. You said I blow myself and dump pop. You said I kill myself, but I just changed my brand and make peace for man to get what? Pick up my G that You said I killed myself, but I could change my brand, make peace with man and get guap. Come on, man. If it was one-on-one. -on -one, you be d come on. I'm done pop. You said I kill myself, but I just changed my brand and made beats for man to get what? Big up my G that taught me to grow weed. That's a good income free from a pop. Beats cost 1.5k from the drop. I'm defending my name. You bought a clip of fame in your vid. That was someone of class as a friend. I got snaked. Uh, I didn't hide in the cupboard. You think you uncovered a gem? It's a fake. That wasn't me, but I know who it was. Still all your versions of a. I didn't hide in the cupboard. You think you uncovered a gem? It's a fake. I hide in the cupboard. You think you uncovered a gem? It's a fake. That wasn't me, but I know who it was. Still all your versions of events are mistakes. So perform your EP, pretending on stage. My friends are amazed at how I channel and sent on my rage. You remind me you're belling me for one piece. You don't believe in my dream till you see me descending for space. Twist to the truth again and again. Wow, you don't believe in my dreams until you see me descending from fucking space. Belling me for one piece. You don't believe in my dream till you see me descending from space. Twist to the truth again and again. You even got my age wrong, fam. Soon turn 29, but till then 28. I know who I am at the end of the day. So if you're believing in P, please don't be tweeting a G. Don't be smiling on my face, I'm trying to bust your call. Talking to me in the street. Every dub you seem to make is a steak bake. I'm a lead dog, but you sleep with a sheep. King P money got dethroned. I took your crown and your kingdom, they see that you're weak. Fuck off. Woo! King P money, I took your crown. The people can see that you're weak. 
God damn, man. Alright, what I feel about this, man. This beef. This. To me, you can't fucking close it out better than this, man. P Money said in the last one that that's my last send I'm gonna fuck, or my last dub I'm sending you. And then in this one here, man, I found that he wasn't trying to body him, I find. He kind of, I mean, you are trying to in a bat or in a beef, yes, but at the same time, I kind of feel again, Dot Rotten just came in with the facts, man, and just said very straight to the point, like, you said this? No, this is exactly what fucking happened here, man. You want to say that I'm broke? Then how the fuck do I have money? How was I buying food for people? How was I doing this? How was I doing that? Yes, you rushed me in one thing, but if it was one-on-one, -on -one, I swear that I would beat your ass. And with that, man, you gotta fucking say, man, that's why I give respect to fucking Dot Rotten, dude. Yep. Hell fucking yes, dude. Coming in with shit like that, and I love it. Now, since there's nothing after this, I'm not sure if some of these were lies, because Pete, or Dot Rotten, was a little bit exposed there in one of the last diss tracks, but I don't know, man. I just kind of feel like with this, he wasn't really going for a body. He was just kind of like saying his piece. Which I fucking... Man, you, I gotta respect this, man. Out of all beefs, how could one end like this? Because usually... Usually beefs end when it's like... They ran out of gas. They got nothing else left to say. Which is kind of happening in this. But it never gets closed off. It's never like there's a finale or anything like that. With this, I feel like it got closed off. They said what they had to say. And the beef is fucking over. Well, apparently it wasn't. Because Dot Rotten released something just in the past few months... Dis and P money, the original grind talk, or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> but either way, man, I still feel like as a whole, going through all of these is freaking awesome just to just to find out about and then just to go through and see, man, how they battle back and forth. To date, this is one of my favorite beefs like ever. Like I've said before, I wasn't around and I wasn't into hip hop. I was only a little kid when Biggie and Park and them and then when I watched Eminem beef with everybody and 50 beefed with people but I found they would just kind of diss each other in tracks it's not like they went back and forth for diss 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 they did for a minute but then it never got closed out like this one did I found they just kind of kept talking like I'm doing right now <laughs> and they just kind of kept beefing each other to the point that even now just last year fucking 50 cent bought out the first two rows of draw rules fucking concert or whatever the hell it was like they're still ragging on each other man but for this beef lyrics battle back and forth call and answer one sends out one responds the next fucking day i love it man so with that one of the best freaking beefs i've ever seen so i'm gonna shut the hell up so i can get to another video before i gotta go to work but i really hope y'all are doing good enjoying the day the best you can and i will catch you in the next one all right peace out y'all have a wicked day